Hello, I'm Mr. Rick. Welcome to tonight's Advent Story Time. First, let's light the Advent wreath. I am lighting two purple candles for the second week of Advent. Tonight I'll read two stories, Good News and The Night the Angels Came Down. We'll start with good news. First, a poem, and then a gospel or a, a Bible verse. First, a poem. And the angel sang, Shepherds, please do what we say. You must gather your sheep and leave straight away to Bethlehem town to a stable so small. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. An angel of the Lord appeared to them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today is the day in the town of David that a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. And that's from Luke 2, 9 through 12. Now to the story. Skies were clear in Bethlehem that night. In the fields not too far from the stable, the shepherds settled down for the evening. They huddled together with their sheep, watching carefully in case any dangers lurked in the shadows. In the light of the silver moon, they could see the little lambs nestled close by their mothers. All was quiet. Suddenly the biggest, brightest light the shepherds had ever seen flooded the sky above. They jumped to their feet in alarm and covered their eyes as they tried to make out what was happening. The shepherds stared in amazement and trembled in fear as an angel appeared above them. But the words the angel spoke were the most incredible words the shepherds had ever heard. Shepherds, do not be afraid. We bring only good news. This very day, the Savior of the world has been born in Bethlehem. You'll find him wrapped in cloths of white, lying in a manger. Go and see for yourselves. And just then, the sky grew even brighter as a whole choir of angels flew down from heaven and started to sing, Glory to God in highest heaven. Peace be upon the earth. As you can see, the choir of angels singing to the shepherds. It was the most wonderful choir the shepherds had ever heard. The shepherds knew exactly what to do. They scrambled to their feet, picked up the lambs, and set off running for Bethlehem. And if you'd been with them that night, you would have heard them talking as they ran. How amazing was that? How come the angels appeared to us? Think it's all true? The shepherds were about to find out. And the second story, the night the angels came down. As soon as the shepherds had heard the good news, they ran to the stable. They would no time to lose. It was true every word that the angel had said. They found Jesus asleep in his sweet manger bed. And from Luke 2, 16 through 18. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in the manger. After the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone. They reported what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. And now the story. Hannah, the young shepherd girl, couldn't believe what she'd seen and heard. She'd stu she stood gazing into the dark skies as the angels faded away and flew back to heaven. This was unbelievable. Hannah, let's go, her dad shouted as he picked up two of the little lambs and tucked one under each arm. Let's see if what the angel said is really true. Hannah grabbed another lamb and set off running for Bethlehem. And as she ran along under the silver moon, 
she thought about how those angels had sung like a heavenly choir in the darkness, how they'd hovered over her head with glittering wings, and how amazing their words had been. Do not be afraid. We bring only good news. This very day, the Savior of the world has been born. Go and see for yourselves. Would they really find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger? When Hannah and her dad reached the stable, they paused and waited for the rest of the shepherds to arrive. And as they waited, Hannah looked up at the twinkling stars above Bethlehem and knew deep inside that this was a special night. When all the shepherds had arrived at the stable, Hannah pushed open the door and gasped at what she saw. It was all true! Mary and Joseph smiled as Hannah crept toward the manger, knelt down, and gazed at their little one. Here he was, the savior of the world, lying in the hay. As the baby slept, a light came from his face, and Hannah felt a peace that filled the whole stable. And Hannah knew then, as she looked at that sleeping baby, that she was looking at the face of God. As you can see, Hannah is looking right now at the face of God. The shepherds stayed for a long time, and as they ran back to the fields, they told everyone about what they had seen and heard. Hannah never forgot that night. It was the night she saw the face of God, the night when the angels came down, and the night when the Savior of the world came down. What a lovely story. Both stories were lovely. But please pray with me right now. Thank you, God, for shepherds and angels and good news that came in the dark. Thank you for joining me tonight. I've been Mr. Rick.